Up next is the great Kennedy. Wow, you there? there. <laughs> yes, big is reveal. A, is that a Janet Jackson move or something? No, this oh, no, is showgirl. No, right, okay. this is showgirls. That's right. And these Too are spirit fingers, and these are gold. <laughs> Everyone's got their hand signals. We can proceed safely. Thank you both. Have a great show. Love Thank you. you. Love you too. The president thinks you are an idiot. That is the only explanation necessary. Why else would he claim people like you don't care about his family's growing corruption scandal? It's not going away. From a deputy spokesperson and Fox News contributor wearing Buckeye Red. She's proud and lovely, <laughs> Marie Harf. And we've got comedian and radio personality back on the panel, Ali Breen. A uh, wonderful job, everyone, except for Jason, with the orange and red memo. I appreciate <laughs> it completely. It. And twinning is winning, always on this show, group. <laughs> um, so, Jason, I will start with you. The president says, like, voters don't want to hear about. Uh, the, the president here has, you know, he, he is straddling a very difficult point in history. He's the oldest president we've ever had, and he's also contemplating re-election. And forth. About the deals that never happened, right? About the big guy. What about the deals that did happen? So DOJ is investigating Hunter Biden. The go federal government is looking into Hunter Biden, and they can, and they should, and that's their purview. Border and immigration, and have talked to. There's no plans on those and, issues, and, though, that they've put forward. They're so focused on the red meat for the base, and I don't think it's going to work. Claim to care about people who are dying to come into this country. I think that that is unforgivable. And there are aspects of this, especially when you look at the Chinese spy balloon and the questions about how China might be infiltrating this country, what tactics they're using. And there are, there's direct emails. <laughs> they call him the big man. I mean, he's connected to this. And the fact that the left is so ignoring it makes it seem even more like there's a connection. Because yes, and he was paying apparently $49,000 a month in rent yeah. for his dad's house. So it's like, hmm. A crisis for years. It, uh, it sabotaged an administration, it framed a three-star general, and it sought to undermine... Oh, that's I mean, I, I have to agree with Marie. Like, I thought the president's speech was irresponsible, and I thought the fact that he didn't say anything for as long as he did, that was incredibly irresponsible. And I think because of that irresponsibility, he should not be running for president and he should not be leading his party. I have felt that, that way for some time now, but I do think that the federal government has been illegally spying on Americans. I think the, the CIA, the NSA... Uh, DHS and the post office are all in cahoots to spy on Americans. I mean, just throw the post office in there. They're no, I mean, but you know about the, the spy program that the United States post office was uh, look, engaged in. They say that I'm it would have wrong. affected their wrong. vote if they had known about that and the story weren't suppressed before the election. I, 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 I bet there are 20 of those people in the country. And if you look That's at what... That's ridiculous. I mean, okay. if, you, if you look at AP, all the more they reason were. to investigate and this. And they had no, they government weren't. jobs no, when they, they were and doing they're, it. They're Stop. on to the bottom of that. And wouldn't you want even a Republican administration to be held accountable? Of course. So the children of powerful people are not spying. Okay, you get the last word. We're running out of time. But yeah. I would not live in a house. I would not live there with a mouse. All right, please <laughs> do not go anywhere. Not only is the game night. That's coming up. Us in moments. Ready to ready. play? Ready. ready. Oh my gosh, let's do this. Okay, here's question number one. I want you to write A, B, or C on your boards. Here we go. Okay. Take, take a triple Great. ride. Great. Right in Central Park. People will love it. They'll adore it. Oh, Allie, Here, you can use mine. We can share. We'll share. <laughs> We're fine. We'll Longer shameful. You can all hold your heads up high and you, when you ride your diamond studded horsey. <laughs> question number five. Which, especially when they fly my spaceship. <laughs> question number six. Ready? We are following each other. I don't know who's coming up with the answer first, oh, but cheating. the other one's going. No, we're both losing. We're both losing. We're losing. You're all, you're all even, Steve. We can get through. Same. I thought that Question was... number I eight: Which of these rich and shameless was once photographed wearing? So uh. anyone could win this. Anyone but Marie and Alex. <laughs> no, I'm just Apparently. Okay. No, you guys. This is a two-point question. Two points. Okay. I love it. Uh, thank you all for playing. You've done a great job, and it was nice having you guys in the studio. Thank you. Thank great you. to have you thank back. You. Uh, coming up. Uh, my good friend. So excited. I can already smell the wings. No, we're ready to go in the Fela house. That's right. Uh, my best bet is the over 10 light poles coming down in Philadelphia. <laughs> I think that's... Uh -huh. uh, I, I think people like you because you're a straight shooter. Yeah, I'll give it you. You, you pull no punches. Mm. 
in terms of the spectrum of jackasses, where do Philadelphia Eagles fans sit on that spectrum? Oh, they now. Like, they're committed, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. That being said, in the game, uh, a million, Super. they're both Jesus Thank guys. Thank Jesus. Like, Jesus is getting yeah. the Lombardi, no matter what. Give it up for the man. Uh, a Topical Storm is next. You stay right here. You stay. An Oklahoma couple says their credit card got shut down after Starbucks accidentally charged them $4,400 for coffee. And the worst part is they still spell their names wrong. That's almost five grand for coffee, and this is the topical storm. Woo! Lulu! Topic number one. A McDonald's in the UK has begun playing classical music in its dining room to discourage gang fights. So now. Customers will hear Amadeus instead of I'm a whoop your ass. It's happening in the town of Wrexham. This could be the most intrusive pecker since Jeffrey Tubins, because he had a bird problem too with his ween. Speaking of world class jerks, it's time to hear from the dumb people in our audience. Welcome to Viewer Mail. Elong starts us off with, You're the worst. Oh, you mean I'm the worst at not being the best. Scott writes, you have the best AOC impersonation, LOL. Now she's like, I'm going to see you, and then I'm going to make a drink. Marv tweets, you should be fired with a capital F. You should be fired out of a fart cannon, Marv, with a capital F, you. And Daryl leaves us with, Kennedy, you should have been this year's Super Bowl halftime performer. Hashtag mouth trumpet. Oh, God, thanks so much for watching the best hour of your day. Please subscribe to my podcast, Kennedy Saves the World, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, FoxNewsPodcast.com. It's really amazing. You'll love everything about it. You can't watch the show? Kennedy VR. Make every day a Kennedy. That was natural. 